What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers report. And in this video, we're gonna be breaking down the five candidates that could become the Texas Rangers new pitching coach going into the 2023 season. So now that Bruce Boshi is the manager of the Texas Rangers, it's most likely that he's gonna bring in somebody that he is familiar with to become the pitching coach, somebody that he's worked with well. So th that's what we're gonna be breaking down. So the first guy, that could become the pitching coach for two, uh, the Rangers next year is Kurt Young. So this guy was a pitching coach for the Oakland Athletics, the Boston Red Sox, and the San Francisco Giants. Um, he had lengthy careers, um, lengthy career with the Athletics. And he's, he's actually it was a shocker that he was actually let go. Um, and then he was Bruce Bochy's pitching coach for two years. Um, Brosi's last two years in San Francisco and he's been able to help develop um, the pitchers on the farm in Oakland and that's crucial for the Texas Rangers moving um, into the stage where we need to develop Jack Leiter, Kumar Rocker, Owen White, um, all those all those pitchers even TK Roby um, and it was crucial back then for Oakland because they're not signing um, star pitchers like we might do this free agency where we might sign the Grom, we might sign Rondon. They ha they rely on the farm system, and Kurt Young was able um, to get the job done. Um, he's been out of the the league for about two to three years now. That's not the biggest layover, but it's still notable. And I, I think it is notable that he was able to hold um, a, a long career with the Athletics because. Um, that shows that he was doing a fine job. That's something that the Rangers have struggled with. Um, we've had pitching coaches for two, three years. They're gone, and then we have to get another one. So that's my first um, option is Kurt Young. The second guy that I would look at is Dave Rigotti. And this guy was Boshi's pitching coach for the longest time in San Francisco. So it was um, 2000. Uh, Rigotti was there from 2000. Um, to 2017 and Boshi's entire time there he only had two pitching coaches I think that's a that's a good thing because that shows that you're being able to um, just develop pitchers and you're not need, being able you don't need um, a new voice in the room um, but obviously it was Rigotti and then Kurt Young um, he was a part of the Boshi's three World Series teams and obviously he helped develop Madison Bumgarner, Matt Kane, Tim Lincecum and others Hopefully, um, it could be Jack Glider, Kumar Rocker, Owen White. That would be awesome. And hopefully, we bring in those free agents. But um, he has been away from the game for a long time. He is 61 years old. He has picked up a front office gig with the Giants. But I don't know if he would want to come over. I know Boshi has asked other people from San Francisco to come over. They've said no, I think that was for a bench coach role. So it'll be interesting to see what Rigotti will do. Um, like I said, he hasn't, he's been out of the game since 2017. So that's a big layover um, than Kurt Young, but still that there's a big connection that Rigotti was um, Bruce Boshi's longest tenured pitching coach. The next guy on the list is Carl Willis. And this doesn't have any connections whatsoever. None that I'm currently aware of, but it, it's a fun idea because um, Carl Willis is a respected pitching coach throughout the game and he's helped develop five Cy Young Award winners throughout his career. Uh, and on, honestly, the Rangers need that type of, of help, um, but it would require a decent amount of money to lure him over to Texas. But I think um, CY and Ray Davis would be willing to do that. I don't know if Carl Willis would be able to leave or if Cleveland would even let him um, be willing to negotiate with Texas. Um, if you remember with Oakland, um, they they let um, Bob Melvin go to San Diego. So stuff like that does happen, but sometimes teams require compensation. Oakland was weird and they didn't care about compensation for Bob Melvin, but who knows if Cleveland would be willing to let Carl Willis go. Obviously, I mean, just look at Cleveland's rotation. That's what carried them to the postseason this year with Bieber, Tristan McKenzie, um, Cal Quantrill, etc. Um, and we, we really need um, that type of help to get this 
um, to turn this rebuild around. Hopefully we, we don't say the rebuild word anymore, but there is no connections there with Bruce Boshi, but I think it's an interesting hire to consider. I don't know if Carl Willis would be willing. The next guy on the list is Mike Maddox. Mike Maddox obviously was a former Rangers pitching coach from 2010 to 2015 but he was seeking another job and ultimately he went to Washington and the Rangers did their own thing. Um, he's a respected pitching coach throughout the league as well. Um, and his contract is up after this year. He actually, today he said he's not coming back to St. Louis. And I wonder if he has other things in mind, just like he did back um, at, at the end of the 2015 season with the Rangers. Cause if you think about it, why wouldn't you go back to St. Louis, a team that won around 100 games. I think I think he likes Texas. I wouldn't be surprised if the Rangers gave him a call. He developed Derek Holland, Alexia Gondo, Matt Harrison. He turned them all into all-stars. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we gave him a call. Um, there's not really any connections there with Bruce Boshi, but um, just because um, you have a manager and doesn't mean they always have to um, get the guys that they have worked with in the past. Just I bring up this example with Mike McCarthy. He he got Mike Nolan his first year as the coach for the Dallas Cowboys. That didn't work out. And then they got the best player on or best coach on the market, which was um, Dan Quinn, and that's worked out really really well. So maybe maybe the Rangers even look at Mark Pryor from the Dodgers, the Carl Willis from the Guardians. Um, Mac, Mike Maddox, this, that would be easier because Mark Price is already with the Dodgers, Carl Willis is already with the Guardians. They would probably have to come up with some compensation or the teams would be, have to be willing to get rid of them. But Mike Maddox is a free agent for a coach. And the two other guys are not coaching anymore. And then the last guy on my list, which I think makes a lot of sense, is Darren Balsley. He's a former San Diego Padres pitching coach from 2004 to 2019. And I think that's notable, like I said, because it shows stability and the Rangers can't have um, a lot of pitching coaches in the next few years because that just means that the pitching was a failure. So I think that's um, a good sign. He was Bochy's um, pitching coach for three years in San Diego. And he spent five years with um, um, Chris Young as a pitching coach as well in San Diego. So this has the most connections. Um, he, all these guys are um, really uh, respected guys, but Darren Basley isn't a pitching coach right now. Um, he's, I think he also is working in the front office for San Diego, but I think this would be um, a pretty good hire but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Who do you want the pitching coach to be? Honestly, I would be okay with any of these guys because I have trust in Chris Young and Bruce, Bruce Boshi to get the right guy. Um, if it's Dave or Gotti, I would be okay because he's developed some guys, but he hasn't been out of the game for a long time. And he is a little bit older, but... Um, I, I do think my mind has shifted that um, like looking at Dusty Baker, you can still be old and you can still get the job done. You just need somebody that can um, get the message out to the players and they, they need to be willing to, to hear it. So things have to click. But um, these are my five guys. Let me know in the comment section down below, who do you think um, could be a different guy that the Rangers could look at for the pitching coach. I do think a hire will happen pretty soon. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.